Hello and welcome to Dimsy's Domain and why does Yusaku use three things to go about his life or to justify things? Well today we're going to be explaining as to why Yusaku uses the notion of three things to, to explain things. So let's look at this from episode 10 of Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns we see that okay Yusaku when he was a child he was told by this mysterious person always think about three things. Now Long story short, Yusaku uses the notion of three things to not only articulate his own thoughts but it's also to give him a logical perspective of things so that he can go about doing things. Now when you break things up in terms of a problem, you break it down into segments to make it more easier to digest and easier to overcome it. It's very very, it's a strategic maneuver to go about doing things and achieving your goals and objectives in life. For example, if you want to let's say get a job, you break it down into three things. Get the qualifications, apply to the job, prepare for the job interview. So that's just a quick little example but it's more deeper with Yusaku's case whereby as a child he was going through some some nasty shit. I don't even know what it was but it must have been traumatic. But I think that Yusaku using these three things is a way for him to overcome the trauma. It's, it's, an, it's a way for him to not let things traumatize him. It's his own little barrier. It's his mental shield. One of the things which really interested me about the episode was he then was essentially justifying why he uses the three things by stating the three things and one of them was actually to find the person that gave him hope to hopefully free them if they're still trapped. Yusaku is a very noble character, but he's a very logical character. He's a person who I, I think that he will fight another day if need be. So he doesn't come across as having that stupid bravado as many anime shonen protagonists have. He's very much a logical thinker and he's going to go about things to essentially get the most, the best possible scenario in the most efficient way. So why does Yusaku use three things? It's just a way for him to articulate, to explain things to himself so he can break it down, so he can achieve the final end goal at a much more easier, quicker, efficient rate. It's a way for efficiency, it's a way for him to have his own mental shield and once again to protect himself but it's also I guess subconsciously to intimidate whoever he's talking to. It is very very effective when you go to someone and say I'm gonna tell you three things why I hate you. They're gonna be like, holy shit, what, well, what's, what's going on here? So that's essentially how I justify and how I explain why Yusaku Fujiki uses three things to go about his life. And the three things are to make things easier, to make things less energetic, and to make things seem more logical for him and for others. I guess these all overlap, but hey, I have to pick three things. Also, in the language of English, we know the rule of three. There's a technique when if you're going to be descriptive to, about something, you try to use it in a rule of three. You do adjective, adjective, comma, and adjective. For example, this this little shiny little, well, this ball is very shiny, clean, and spherical. I don't know, that's just a quick example, but in terms of the English language when you're writing reports, when you're writing a form of literature in general, you want to use the rule of three. You don't want to exceed that because that's a bit overkill and you don't want to go anything less because that it doesn't feel like you've given enough information or description. So these are my little thought processes regarding this free things. Please make sure to like, share, comment and subscribe. You may now exit Dimsy's domain. Thank you. Goodbye. Take care. Don't die.